那，请问呀，妈妈给几爸爸？问呀妈，问呀妈。嗯 ，What's going on？ 嗯。Portal under attack. Ah,、uh, not on my watch. So here's the situation. You're in a hurry to go somewhere. Your bike won't start. Seems the battery might be a little bit low. You're trying to crank and nothing's happening. You need to be able to push start your motorcycle. What you want to do is find yourself a decent runoff. I've got a nice downhill here, but you may not have one. So I'm actually going to move my bike to the street, so I can show you how I would do a typical push start. What you want to do is you want to find yourself some space where you can get a decent run up, right? Jump off the bike, okay, and keep it in neutral. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run, jump on the bike, and when I do, I'm going to kick it into first gear. I'm going to drop the clutch. Just like this. Let's watch my favorite part again, shall we? <laughs> And you want to be really careful, because you saw there, I kind of allowed myself to get lurched away by the bike. Oh shit! I stalled. <laughs> we'll do it again. I'll go rig up the tripod so you guys can see what it looks like off the bike. Later. So now you've seen me push start my bike, and you see that it works really easy. I thought maybe I would tell you guys exactly how it works. Traditionally, when you start the motorcycle by pulling on the starter, you take battery power and put it onto the starter motor. Now the starter motor has got a toothed gear that is connected to a gear that is on the engine's crankshaft. So when you hit your starter switch, you basically put electrical current into the starter motor, and the starter motor engages and turns the crankshaft. And once the crankshaft is turning, you start rotating the pickup for the distributor, or for the spark plugs, or for your coil pack, or whatever your motorcycle uses to deliver spark to the spark plugs. Once you've got electricity flowing to your spark plug, with the engine turning and just a little bit of fuel, that will breathe life. Your engine.、The、push starting is going to work a little bit differently. You see, when you start running with the motorcycle in neutral, you start spinning the back wheel because the back wheel is turning. The back wheel then drives the engine sprocket, which then drives the output shaft. The output shaft is then spinning up the output end of your gearbox. So now it's in neutral, and you've got your gearbox spinning. So you jump on your motorcycle and you kick it into gear. What happens now is the output shaft, which is now connected to the input shaft, starts spinning the input shaft. The input shaft starts spinning. Nothing happens because you're still holding the clutch. By holding the clutch, you basically disengage the clutch plate from the input shaft. So as you let go of the clutch, you engage the clutch plate, and that in turn drives the input gear. The input gear. Is also connected to the crankshaft. So, because it's connected to the crankshaft, just like what happens with the starter motor, you start spinning up the motor. You turn the crankshaft, the position sensor for your spark plugs or your coil or your distributor, or whatever you have, goes into the right place, and then boom, 
you engage spark to your spark plugs and hopefully it's enough to push your motorcycle and get it started. Now, there's a couple of caveats with this. If you don't have fuel at the carburetors, you're going to have a tough time pushing it. You're going to have to push it a couple of times because you still have to generate enough vacuum, get the fuel into the carb system, and then from there, actually get the thing to start running. It's not necessarily the greatest way in the world to try and run a motorcycle, and it sucks. Like, this is exhausting. I managed to do it really easily in this video, but you might struggle. I've had once when I had to push start the motorcycle where I was running around for like 15 minutes in my neighborhood trying to get my bike to start. It was the most miserable day of my life. It was still fun because I got a ride. Man, it was hard work. Man, it was hard work. Modern motorcycles may also have a bit of an issue with trying to push start, especially if you're push starting because of a flat battery. If you're push starting because you've got a starter motor that just won't turn, well then you've kind of still maybe got some leeway. Because the problem with these modern motorcycles is they're probably running fuel injectors and all this other fancy electronic stuff like immobilizers and all of that with it. Normally those systems require less voltage than your starter motor does. So you might be able to get away with it, but if you just don't have enough battery to sustain those electronic systems, you're not going to be able to start your motorcycle by push starting. I can tell you, I've had a couple of nasties with needing to push start a motorcycle and there's, there's strategies you can use to get around it until you can fix your issues. Like, if it's a battery that keeps dying, well, your, your first objective is, hey, replace the battery. But we understand it's not always possible to do things like that right away. So you can instead park your motorcycle in such a way that the first move takes it on a downhill. It'll make it so much easier for you to push start your motorcycle because then you don't have to do any pushing. You just let go the clutch. You know, get a little bit of speed, let go of the clutch and off you go. Ooh. Look at this traffic, man. Blech. Blech. Look at it. Let it remind you why riding motorcycles is better than driving in a cage. <laughs> yep. Bloody hell, it is hot today. So hot. But I love this heat, man. Oh, I love this heat. I don't care how hot it is, I love to ride when it's warm like this. So here I am, Techno Park, coming to claim back my portals. 12 seconds later. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to hang out. I hope you learned a little summon summon. If you did, why don't you leave a comment down below, let me know what did you guys think about it. Don't forget that I've got a parking lot exercise booklet that I put together. It's sitting on my Patreon. You can check the links in the description down below. Click it, go download it, go do some parking sessions. I promise you, it'll be very rewarding. I'd like to know how many of them you can actually do and what's your time. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow biker friends. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. You'll get some more how-tos, moto vlogs, parking sessions, a whole bunch of motorcycle related stuff. Hang out with me, subscribe to the channel. Just remember, whatever life is throwing at you, don't look down, look ahead. And until next time, safe.